Hi, my name is Lisa Lundy, and I'd like to talk to you about the science behind the gluten-free diet. I've just uploaded, for your listening pleasure, a two-part radio interview on the science behind the gluten-free diet. Two 30-minute segments all about the recent research on the gluten-free diet, the value, and what we know medically. Now, there's over 693 studies on celiac, atypical celiac, and latent celiac combined on PubMed. That's a lot of information. But thankfully, Lorette Janik went and she got a nice hefty stack, a good sample of the latest research. And from that, we conducted our interview, which again is free on Autism One Radio, www.autismone.org. The other thing you can find on my website is a list of 19 of the studies. Now, we are updating that. That's going to, we have another 20 or more to add. But that's at least a start. So when you read something in the paper and it says there's no scientific evidence to support the gluten-free diet other than for people who have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, think again. You can get all of this information free from my website or listen to the program on autismone.org. And we're here to support you and help you understand what the straight facts are. My website is www.thesuperallergycookbook.com. And yes, my disclaimer is I am the author of a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, and allergen-free cookbook. I don't, however, believe that everyone needs to be on the gluten-free diet. There are people who will gain significant improvements in health if they do get the, have the gluten-free diet. So I'm all about information and education. Before you start a gluten-free diet, please make sure you see your physician and get tested for celiac disease. For more information, visit my website.